Okay, people, I'm back again. I'm back again. I guess the video turned off so I can find it. <laughs> but anyway, it was Deuteronomy chapter 7. And now keep in mind, people, the Bible is all truth. Note this. It's the truth. It's the truth. You know, we have people in this world that focus so much on the Old Testament that they forget the new. And it's all together. But I'm going to break it down to you in a way according to Scripture. But I'm going to read this one-liner. You know, a lot of people teach racism. They do. And it's ridiculous. Now, you gotta, you're got going to see how people distort the Word of God. I'm going to show you. And these prophecies, it says the Lord says. I'm going to read from Deuteronomy chapter 7. But this is the verse that these people push. They'll, they'll send you this one verse. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 3. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his sons, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. So they'll give you this. And they'll push their agenda. They'll give you this one-liner. And they'll push their agenda. So you're not supposed to marry this person. You're not supposed to marry this person. Let me tell you some people. First of all, this is the Old Testament. Hittite. I'm going to go back to the, when the whole, the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land where thou goest to possess it and cast out many nations before thee, the Hittite and the Gergesite and the Amorite and the Canaanite and the Perizzite and the Hivite and the Jebusite, seven nations greater and mightier than thou. And when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them. Now he's talking to what? The people of Israel back then. Now they shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his sons, nor his daughter shalt thou turn, take unto thy son. For they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. But such as you will deal with them, you shall destroy their altars and break down their images and cut down their groves. And burn their graven images with fire. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people to himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The, the Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you. Because you were more in number than any people. For you were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you. And because he would keep the oath which he has sworn unto your fathers, have the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and have redeemed you out of the house of bondmen, from the king of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Now therefore that the Lord thy God, he is good, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. And he repayeth them that hate him to their face to destroy them. He will not be slack to him that hate of him. He will repay him to his face. Thou shalt therefore keep the commandments and the statutes and the judgment which I command thee this day to do them. Now, I'm going to break it down to you. Okay, you got a new nation. God is establishing his people, right? He establishes his people in this new nation. He gave them rules and regulations. Why didn't God want them to marry these type people? I'm not talking about color or race. Because where's first of all right now? If I see a Gergesite right now, I wouldn't know there's one. If I see a Hivite right now, I wouldn't know. But I, back then, I bet they knew exactly what God was talking about. You see the deception that goes on? Like people talk like they lived back then. What was the whole purpose of him, them not marrying them? God knew what type of people they were. People who didn't worship him. Who didn't worship God. He said, they'll change your hearts. You understand? Now, so, these people push this agenda. They don't push it in regards to the God worship. They push it in regards to race. God wasn't mad at them because of the color of their skin. He wasn't upset with them because of how they looked. He didn't want them to marry them because of the color of their skin or what nation they was from. It was the whole point of him not wanting them to marry because they worship other gods. Right? So these people are lean on this, right? They're lean on it. But then they'll forget the New Testament. 
I never forget in Isaiah how he talk about the Gentiles, how he gathering them to him. Or he gathering people from all over who are not my people. They will become my people. When track minded. You understand? So it's not that God's trying to make them a new nation. They're trying to make a new nation themselves. And a lot of these hate groups do that. The Nazis did it. The Ku Klux Klan did it. And it's another group, multiple groups doing it now. God is a God of love. He said, mercy upon them that love me and keep my, my commandments. So it's like saying, like I always use the story of Moab. I use I mean, uh, Ruth and David to prove the point that all things work together for them that love God and are called according to his purpose. The whole key of the Bible is to love God. And to join to him. And God is not going to refuse anybody who joins to him. He refuses people who don't join to him. Who don't keep his commands and his statutes. You understand? Because we in the, the God is, Jesus washed us with blood. I'm not saying you're supposed to continue in sin. But it's all about God worship. The Bible is all about worship. And it's prophesying lies to people. You know, the Bible tells us so many warnings about certain people and how they teach and how they preach. And grace swelling words, luring people less. Now, if you can you can feed a group off of anger. You can. You can. And you can use scripture to push whatever agenda you want. But the thing is, the Bible even tells you that a lot of people ain't pushing his agenda. He's talking about these prophets, these pastors, these so called people who use his name. To say the Lord says all the time. I'm not going against scripture by no means. But I know Jesus died on the cross for what? Our sins. And it's something as a Christian that you realize by knowing Jesus teaches. That there's a born again process. Even how many times, but they were pushing this issue with me. The reason why I'm bringing this up because they push this issue with me constantly. I'm in an interracial marriage. We both love God. We both love Christ. We don't worship no other gods. How is that wrong? How can I say anybody, tell anybody that that is wrong when it's not? That's a lie. Straight from the depths of hell. You understand? It is. How can something be wrong that's right? Right? Does it make sense to you? You know, this day and age, if people give their life over to God and God cleanses them from their sins, and they stop and they change. They're a new creation. Back then, baptism was not taught. Baptism was not a thing back in the Old Testament. You understand? You had to do sacrifice to stay in line with your sins. But Jesus died for the remission of sins. You see, if you focus on the, the law so much that you forget the truth, you're still supposed to spread the law. I'm no, I'm not the the nicest preacher in the world. I'm not a hellfire and brimstone preacher either. I'm just a spreader of the word and I'll understand now truth. The Bible says rightly divide the word of truth. You understand? Just like I'm against people who are trying to say mercy, mercy, mercy and grace all the time without saying the truth. You got to it's the way you stay in God's grace by keeping his word. You understand? This and that. You know, the truth will set you free. But you got to be careful about these certain groups out there. These pastors. These prophets. These people that say things. You know, it's nobody in the world that knows this Bible more than God. Nobody in the world knows who the 144,000 is. Nobody. Nobody knows who the people are going to receive the mark are. Nobody knows who's going to receive his mark. God's Jesus mark, the new name. Nobody knows. You understand? You have to re be real careful. Because a lot of people that prophesy lies to gain people, to gain souls. You understand? The Lord is gracious and merciful. I love the fact that God is gracious and merciful to me. You see, the reason I can tell people 
how the word of God works in certain situations because I've been in certain situations that coincide with the Bible. Anybody who knows me knows my story. I tell it. I was once married to someone who practiced witchcraft. There lies the sin. Was it really about the color of their skin? No, it's a project. It's about the, the God they worship. And what happens when you combine yourself with people who worship other gods? You might get drawn into it. And I was close to being drawn into there. But I was telling the guy, you know, God separated me from that marriage. He tried to tell him, well, the only person way you can marry, divorce, is through the act of adultery. Well, that was part of it, too. You know, one thing about it, all things work together for those that love God. God knows what he's doing. Well, my wife was, a, at the time, was an adulterous wife. She was a wife that didn't worship my God. So that's adultery. That's a whoredom. And she actually committed fornication against our marriage. So God allowed it to happen. You understand? It wasn't because she was white. It wasn't. You understand? You see, one thing about pushing a race card with scripture is flawed. I'm going to tell you how it's flawed. And I'm just going to tell you straight up. All right. This group. Yes. I'm talking about this group today. This group of people, they had figured out who the 12 tribes of Israel were. All right. They had narrowed them down to a group of people. And it's just weird that all the group of people just happen to be dark skinned. That's weird. That's very weird. You understand? You know, sin is sin. Evil is evil. Color is color. You got good people. People who fear God, people who love them, and no matter what color they are, you understand? So it's like saying an Asian person in Asia and God, Jesus calls out to them and they give their life over to God. They're not accepted because they're not dark skinned. You understand? They're a new creation according to the baptism of Jesus Christ. You see, but the thing is, you know what they take out of the word more than anything? These, this group, God's grace and God's mercy. Now, you got people who use God's grace and mercy wrongfully, too. You got people who don't use it. And that's wrong, too. You need both. You understand? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of understanding? Yes, the beginning of understanding. But God's grace and mercy is part of it. They say the fear of the Lord is the beginning it's not all. It's not all. But God has a problem with people that mislead his people. And guess what? If you're a child of Christ, you're going to have a problem with it too. You understand? One thing about it, nobody can control how they were born or how they were created. But they can control being born again. It's their choice to get their life over to, to Jesus Christ. That's the whole purpose of Jesus coming on Christ to save those who he chose out of the world. How do you know he chose? And you give your life to him. You stick true to his commandments. You stay to his truth. You understand. And God is not a God of hate. It's a reason why God set the examples in there. There's certain things I don't want you to do. And at that time, the children of Israel were becoming a new nation. They didn't know too much. They've been in Egypt so long. And God's teaching them how to serve him. Right? And this group over here already got their God set up. And he's like, I'm telling y'all, I'm God. Tear them idols down. Don't marry them. Why? Because they worship another God. It goes to any group. You know, let's say I'm a black man. I'm married. But I just I do a hypothetical here. I'm an African-American man, and I marry an African-American witch. Well, then what? Is it really about the color? Or is it about the God you serve? You understand? This is what it's about. Hate is not of God. It's not. It's things God hate. Deeds. You understand? And then these, some of these groups act like they don't see any perfect. They got everything figured out. They sound just like the Jews. Back in the day, they sound just like Pharisees and stuff to me. Well, the more they talk, the more they hate shows too. I can even I can show you the post, but it's not it's irrelevant. But it bothers me. It bothers me big time that people are doing this and 
distorting the word and causing so many people to error from the truth. It's a division going on, yes. People who love God and people who don't. That's what it's all about. He said, whoever love of make of lie, that goes for me too, if I lie to you about the word of God. I know what the word of God said in the Old Testament. I'm not going against it. But you know what those rules and regulations were for? For them. And they still for us. They still apply to us today. That's where discernment and stuff comes into play. The New Testament talking about believer and non-believer. Did it say color and this color? It, it's, the book is not a color. Hittite. Let's take Hittite, for example. Let's just take the word Hittite. Is they born there? You think all Hittites looked exactly the same? No. I've been to Iraq. I've seen dark complexed Muslims in Iraq. I've seen yellow. I've seen some that look Caucasian. But yet they're still Muslim or they're still Shiite or this type or whatever. But I've seen them look so many different colors. God's people have so many different colors. First of all, God created all these wonderful colors. You understand? He created it. He created us. Like, let's put it this way. When a child, he said, suffer not the little children to come to me. Did he say suffer not the black children to come to me? Did he say suffer not the white children to come to me? He said suffer not the Asian children to come to me. He said suffer not the little children to come to me. You understand? Be careful out there, people. There are teachers in this world and pastors and prophets that are lying. They, they cause more people to live in bondage than they ever did. At the same time, they'll say this book is the white man's book. Or it's a slave book. And then they'll use this same book to enslave their own kind. To a slave mentality. What's the difference from you using the word to teach black superiority than the Ku Klux Klan to use it to teach white superiority. It's the same thing. It's, the, it's no different concept in it. It's the same. You understand? Yes, people go overboard with the word of God. Yeah, God is a God of peace. But God is a God of standards. And you got to hold up to his standard. And the thing is, you're not going to always be perfect in regards to his standard. You're going to fall short sometimes. You understand? But at the same time, stay at it. But don't let nobody trick you and make it about this or make it about that. You understand? If you love God, even in the Old Testament, God talks about accepting strangers. Even in the New Testament, Jesus talks about entertaining strangers. But if you're so racist, you only entertain certain people. When God says strangers, he's talking about anybody. When God says neighbors, he's talking about anybody. But if you're trying to limit the Bible to just one demographic, you're missing out on much. You understand? You might well say you call yourself the Black Panther Party or whatever, or this or that. You know, if you read the, uh, the Bible in heaven, marriage is not even important anymore. No such thing in heaven. You understand? Your soul is right. Marriage is good while you're on this earth. Why? Because it's keeping you from committing adultery and fornication. And when I break down adultery, I tell people about the whoredom. When God says whoredom, God says whoredom's a lot. Whoredom's in, in the eyes of the Lord is worshiping other gods, going against his commandments. All those things are considered whoredoms and adultery. But he also say, I would let them return to me. God is, that's, that's God's mercy. When they return to me, I'm going to be their God. And it goes to anyone. If they turn from their evil ways and accept Jesus Christ in their life and let him make the change that he made to get you ready to make it to heaven. It's not about the color of your skin. You understand, people? God is good. People have imaginations that are ridiculous. I'm going to read something again. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own hearts. But you know, they'll, they'll turn that word and be like, Houston, where are you being deceived? How? How am I being deceived? This is not my words. 
These are his words. You understand? I'm not adding nothing to this. Let's put it this way. Let me show you. The Bible says don't add to this word. Let me pause for a second. 